Hello everybody and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I've been doing a little bit more grinding. It's actually going on right now, but I thought we would just bugger off. I've changed my outfit. This is the Fallen Knight set, except for the helmet. I believe the helmet is the Cathedral Knight helm. So I forget where those guys are, but that's the helmet I'm using. This is the Fallen Knight helmet. It's not as good as this one, so I'm, I'm using this. Uh, mostly because the Luke Teal set, while radical looking, doesn't actually provide a whole lot of actual defense. And uh, this is slightly worse than the Knight set, which is actually one of the better armor sets that I currently have um, at my disposal. 13.2, this is like 12.6. I have other ones, like uh, here's the Exile set, which is just overall way better, as is the Black Knight armor set. I just don't like how those look. They make me look really chunky. And this one's a bit more slimmed down and a bit more, I would say, practical. So that is that situation. Now we have, uh, we've got some stuff. So I did a uh, quite a bit of crap uh, last night, mostly with the uh, with the fire pit of damnation, um, which we will head back to after I go level up. Uh, the the smoldering basin, basically. Um, way at the bottom of the smoldering basin, there was that dude, right? The invader, Sorg, T S O Rig, like Srig or whatever his name was, right? He was just chilling there. Kicked his ass, took me a while, but I kicked his ass, and that motherfucker drops the Fume Ultra Greatsword. This Greatsword is the best weapon of Dark Souls 2. It only came with the DLC, and it is, it's one of the greatest weapons in the game. However, you may notice that its strength is 50. I need 50 strength to wield the Ultra Greatsword. This is a, this is an end game weapon. So, but I have it. He also dropped the uh, Black Iron Shield. Yep, he dropped the Black Iron Great Shield, and he gave me a ring, which I will show you real quick. He dropped this, the Night Slayer's Ring. Enemies lose more stamina when guarding attacks. So long ago, Sreg enraged the guardians of an ancient city in the bloody confrontation and returned with their rings as his prize, still frozen on their disembodied fingers. So, that, we, we, we beat him. Uh, basically, I'm done with that lower zone, uh, which is nice. I even got the, the Ballista to stop firing. I took care of that. Apparently, when we first fought the worm, he did die, because he has yet to reappear. And um, there's a couple other things in that zone that we will take care of, uh, but let's level up first. Basically, pumping it straight into strength. I, I want to use the goddamn fucking fume sword, so it's, it's all going into strength until I hit 50, which is an unbelievable that's, that's an incredible amount of strength. It's pretty ridiculous. But we will actually be going here. Uh, okay. So there's a few things I want to take care of before we go after the optional boss fight of this zone. Um, and there's, there's a nice convenient uh, bonfire like right outside his door. So I'm not too worried about that. But I want to see if we can find... Um, the thing. There's also quite a few items. There's an item like straight in front of me. Now that the blist is done, uh, and I can grab that item as well. So let's let's pick these up. But it's it, it was a giant crossbow basically. You turn a lever, and it stops. Easy peasy. Nothing to worry about. Let me just grab this. This guy got fucked. Large tinite shards. Appreciated. Useless now, but appreciated. Okay, so. If you look at, um, basically what's above my head, that's like a little dropity drop down. Once you shut off the, uh, the ballista, you drop it down there. Apparently, there's this. There's a little cave here. And apparently within the cave is someone who's probably not going to be all that, uh, all that happy to see me. Let's see if we can kill that before, uh... Cool. I didn't even see what I picked up. Probably Twinkling Titanite. It flashed by too quickly. Oh, there's another one. Losing Sanity. Okay. Can I get you before... Come on. Shit. Could this be friend, but be worried of betrayal? Okay. Him. So, do you remember, uh... Remember that guy that was going around with what's-his-face? And he was like... Bruh. Poor dude's done and gone, lost his mind. And now we need to kill him. That's, a. Uh... Oh, shit. 
Forrest the Hushed. He's, uh, he's not doing too great, guys. Up. Up. Come on, man. I thought we were bros. I thought we were bros. This isn't very bro-like. Oh, no. I need to actually hit him. God damn it. You want to you hit him, or are you just going to keep taking hits? Uh, I feel kind of bad about doing this. I feel kind of bad. Sorry, Horace. You got to go. Oh, no, you don't. Whip. Sorry, bud. Oh, yeah, also my Estus Flask is 12 plus 6. I'm not sure if it was at that last time, but it is now. I, ha I had to bring your reign of terror to an end. And you get his little, his shield. And then there's a couple of items over here. So, but yeah, that's, that's what happened to him. Large Titanite Shard. Large Titanite Shard. Getting an insane amount of those now. So we took care of that. It's a bummer, yeah. And uh, to continue that quest line, um, I would need to go back to the catacombs and talk to the dude that we find there. And I might. I don't know. I, I mostly wanted to go down this path because um, he had gear, uh, pretty much, and that's kind of what I was after. I don't, I'm not too concerned with going back to, and completing the quest line, but I might. Who knows? We might even do that uh, in this session. But now it is time to do the boss fight. There's a few ways we can get there. We can probably just run straight there. There's a bonfire uh, pretty much right before you go inside. This area is pretty much done. There is apparently a um, a wall somewhere like around here that the ballista can shoot and destroy that um, reveals a ring. I don't think the ring is very good, so I'm not too concerned about it. I'm just making sure there isn't any like items or anything over here. Doesn't look like it. That giant worm thing was cool. I wish we didn't, I wish it didn't die when we did so we could actually like fight it properly, but it's, it's dead. So such is, such is life. That is the room for the boss fight. Uh, and if we just kind of skibbity scap right over here, up this ledge, it's actually a very convenient uh, place for a bonfire for this fight. So that's why I'm not too concerned about this guy. Because it's not like we actually have to go all that far to fight him. So let's, uh, let's do it. I do have a fair amount of souls, but it's still less than, like, I think it's a little more than half of the number of souls I need to actually level up. So I'm not too concerned about losing these. And, uh, I'm not really all that scared about actually fighting this guy. Um, so let's try it without friends and see how we go. So he's that thing in the middle, uh, in case you were wondering. There's a lot of, a lot of demons everywhere, but that's okay. Because here we have the old demon king. And he does not take kindly to strangers getting all up into fitness. I'm caught up on a foot. Hold on. Yep. Okay, he can shoot fire through the pile of bodies. That's not great. Hello, sir. So, pro tip for this fight. I'm not going to use it. But, um, apparently, the, uh, the Black Knight Sword does damage against this. Because the Black Knight Sword is designed to fight chaos creatures. And that's what he is. He's a chaos um, demon, apparently. I don't understand how that's different from, um, like, just being made of fire. But it is, apparently, so, you know, be aware of that. Wanted to tank that hit instead of, uh, getting destroyed by fire. Hit him in the crotch. There we go. I don't know what he's doing. He's doing something. Up. Oh. It's hard to tell what's happening. I just roll away. Up. Oh. Okay. That's a weird move. He's like missing an eye. He looks pretty cool. Ow. 
now. I should probably, uh, get away. Cool. Oh, jeez. That was close. Come on, buddy. So the fox come back out. Come on. Ah, oh, nope, I'm dead. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm gonna take that Estus. There you go. Ah, uh, he's a little tired. There we go. Ah, oh, he's sad. Because now he's dead. Thanks for the soul. Ah. Uh, old Demon King. Hey, I got my Ember back. And I should get about... Yeah, there we go. Another level. Nice. But yeah, he's, uh... Took care of him. <laughs> I, I wasn't really scared about doing that fight, but I, I knew I needed to do it, so. Old Demon King is done, which is basically the end of this zone. I mean, there's a bunch of crabs to fight, but fuck that, says I. Fuck that, says I. Now the next place to go is just back to the profane capital. I mean, that is, that's where we need to be in order to progress. I can level up, so I, I am actually gonna go back to town and do that. Should have done that first, but it's not. It's not that bad. Um, I'm also a little scared about getting invaded in such a location. Um, so I might spend my souls and then suicide just to get rid of the ember. But I do also want to bring in friends to help me with the fight, so maybe not. Maybe we'll just... Maybe we'll just take it. Where's, uh, where's my woman in black? Anywhere. Very yes, yes, yes. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Uh, once again, strain of strength. That's, that's where it needs to go. So basically, all of his souls is what I need to do. That let's see if uh, let's see if the the old demon king actually gives us any kind of cool weapons. It's probably just that horrifying misshapen claw thing. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, uh, looks like you can get the chaos bed vestige, which I think is that that weapon or that uh, spell he was using. The demon's axe. Yeah, there's his there's his uh, old king gray hammer. That's a pretty good uh, weapon. It looks very strong. So, and there's the profane greatsword. Who dropped this one? This was uh, uh, the pontiff, right, 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 right. A lot of greatswords. A lot of greatswords, and that's about it, okay. It's kind of cool that the guy that does the boss weapons is like right there in the, in the main hub, you know? I don't think there's anything else I could really do with this change. Uh, so yeah, let's just, uh, let's just head over to the profane capital. I guess, and uh, attempt to get back to Yorm, the uh, the the last giant, or the the first giant, or the, the the king giant, or just Yorm the giant. I don't remember what his name was. Uh, where is the ladder down? Down, down, do doop, down, do down. There it is. Got to take the ladder down. Okay. Sorry, I'm like checking out the zone and shit like that. So I guess you can drop down onto that archway and just kind of make a run right up the middle uh, to get to the boss fight. I guess that's how you speed run it, but you will have to put up with, uh, with them doing that. Ow. Okay, we can take an Estus. And hopefully just sprint up there and wipe these bastards out. Quip. Shit. Now right, let's go after you, I guess, since you're just standing there. Okay. Okay. One, two, three, four. Nice and easy. And then it's just a straight shot to the boss fight. Look at all these wonderful names I can bring in. Let's try that one. Couple more names. Come on. Is this guy wearing the low trick set? Okay, let's see. Let's take a look at who's coming in. Hopefully none of them were actual, like, bee hiss. Hello. Hello, friend. Welcome. We got be hiss and sedated. I'm gonna bow to both of you. 
What what the hell are you doing? He's got the Artorias set. Holy goddamn balls. All right. Let's do it. All right, Yorm. Yorm the giant. Wow, he's just booking ass straight in there. there there's Behis. They both have, like, the Whirly Gig sword. This is nuts. All right. Holy goddamn hell. What the hell did Sedated do? He's already taken so much damage. All right, well, I think what I'm going to do... Oh, my God. I don't know what's happening, but I like it. I should probably stay out of this. I should probably stay out of this. They they seem to have a much better idea of what's going on here than I do. Um, yeah, no. I don't know what the hell they're doing to Yorm, because they're moving around like statues, but... It's something powerful. Holy shit. No, they're just destroying this guy for me. Wow, this is trivialized the boss fight like nobody's business. Yeah, just stay out of it. Holy goddamn balls. They've killed him. That's ridiculous. You guys are champions. Holy goddamn balls. What is that sword? He's got the Artorias hat. They have the same sword. It's got a curved end to it. Okay, I'll, I'll find out what that is later. Well, that was easy. That was remarkably easy. Holy hell balls. Thank you two for being amazing. Friends in this game. Praise the sun. Praise that fucking sun. God damn. Well. That was, uh... That was, that was awesome. We just knocked fat fucking Yorm out of the fight, like, and Storm, so that's the sword. Only a storm can fell a great wood. That's, that's what they were using. What is it? What? Great sword with a broken blade, also known as the Giant Slayer for its residual strength of storm that brings giants to their knees. Yorm the Giant once held two of these, but gave one to humans who doubted him and left the other to a dear friend before facing his fate as a Lord of Cinder. Uh, assume the stance to imbue the sword with storm. Most effective when facing giants. Assume the stance. What's what's the stance? Oh, you mean this. So, if you hold LT, you assume the stance, and then when I strike... So apparently that's... That's how they... That's how it works. So, apparently that's a really easy way to bring him down. That's really cool. They give you the weapon to fight him in the same zone that you fight him. Now that's really smart, actually. Uh, that's, that's incredible. Okay, is there anything around the back? I don't think so. That was awesome as hell. God damn, that's a cool sword. I like that sword a lot. Well, uh, let's head back to Fiery Link Shrine. And uh, I assume things are different now because we've now defeated, well, no. I stood by and watched. Let's make no, you know, let's not beat around the bush. I didn't do fuck all to beat Yorm. It was absolutely those two guys and they deserve all the credit. So good job, you two. But now that I have Yorm's ashes, which I should probably take a look at before we um, offer them up to the, uh, to the thing there. Oh, hey, look at that, tiny night chunk, yay. Cinders of a Lord. If the Lords will not return, yes, yes, yes. Lonely Yorm became a Lord of Cinder to put the flamed flame to rest, knowing full well that those who spoke of him as a Lord were quite insincere. Interesting. Okay. Oh, I also have a gem to offer up to this guy. Uh, it it's just another or another coal, I should say. Um, which will do this. Well, Give the sages well. coal. What's the undead legion doing with a coal such as this? I'd heard one of the Crystal Sages had sided with Farron's Abyss Watchers. I suppose it must be true. You should know. This coal is imbued with magic. First one I've ever seen. Hardly a surprise, is it? <laughs> I've never been one for books or wise men. Today, <laughs> 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 uh. be careful. I don't know about you guys. But I'm not sure where to go next. 
Um, level up. Once again, pump it into strength. Strength. God damn it. 7,000 souls away from leveling up again. Okay. So. Fuck. I don't. I don't know. Let's go back to this place because it's. It is. It's like the next zone, right? 